coming up on the Real Housewives of New Jersey after show. Everything on the table went on top of us. When she's stumped and doesn't know what else to say, she just reacts. You whore! Disgusted white trash bitch! I didn't want to get to that place. I don't think Louie's ever seen you like that. No, but I just couldn't help it. Like, she, she's she's a vile human being. You talk to f***ing Tom, Dick, and Harry. Why, because you said that I spread the rumors to the bloggers. about Louie. Yes. I can't help that public opinion across the internet is not the best. Everyone was rooting for him. Plates are being thrown, wine's being spilled, drinks over all over the place. It's sad, it's really sad to watch. I think we're just meant to have dinners at home. She's a disgusting beast. If you go home with her, that is disgusting. Right there, loyalty was broken. Teresa, if you haven't realized by now that Dolores is a better friend to Margaret, you need to open your eyes. Can we get our food? I stayed, not only did I finish my food, but I finished everybody else who got up and left and went home. All right, I made the best of it. Anytime I get a chance to stay and finish my food, I'm staying. He was across from me, he was eating, and about 20 minutes later, he was he was asleep. <laughs> Your Real Housewives of New Jersey after show starts right now. So it's your first night out in Nashville, and things get pretty heated at dinner, and plates get thrown. Well, entire table, she sweeps her hand across it and dumps everything on top of me. She um, is upset about, you know, all these things about Louie. I mean, listen, it's just, she's she thinks all this stuff is coming out. She accuses me again of talking to bloggers. You talk to f***ing Tom, Dick, and Harry. Why, because you said that I spread the rumors to the bloggers about Louie. Yes. When she's stumped and doesn't know what else to say, she just reacts. And it was very aggressive, and she, everything on the table went on top of us. I can't help that public opinion, and it is true, public opinion across the internet, is not the best. I think Louie has to address the video. You ever talk no, about Louie no. stuff with her? What about allegations of abuse? Everyone was rooting for him. Please, he's new at this. He doesn't even understand all this. And I'm mad at myself for even getting to that place because I kept my cool the whole season. I didn't want to get to that place. You whore! Disgusted white trash bitch! But I'm sorry. I don't think Louie's ever seen you like that. No, but I just couldn't help it. She was relentless. She's a disgusting person. She really is. Her actions are disgusting. Like, she's, she's, she's a vile human being. I feel sorry for her. I mean, I, I mean she, she was protecting her man, protecting herself. I don't know. It was, it's sad. It's really sad to watch. Margaret, you know, she interacts with these bloggers because she wants to try to get them on her side. So black and white. Like whoever follows that blogger, every time something big happened with us, something would come out. And who would bring this out? It was Margaret. I think it's easy for her to say this is just Margaret, you know, trying to cause problems for Louie, so that it seems like there's no truth to anything. And I'm not saying there is truth to it, but She's trying to invalidate everything by just blaming Margaret. Marge does not leak anything. She's pretty close-lipped. And she doesn't ever forget anything. But she doesn't leak anything. If she wants to go and say something, well, you get her mad enough, she's going to say it right to your face. You always say, Bill's the best. Listen, he had an affair. You're jealous. Everybody knows. And that's why he left his old job. She's not going to go and do it behind your back telling all these little boy bloggers. And I don't know anybody who's a blogger, so, you know, it's not us. I think we're just meant to have dinners at home <laughs> when everybody's not getting along. She was yelling, screaming, and then all of a sudden her hands flew. Plates are being thrown, wine's being spilled, drinks over, all over the place. I'm so happy that I aimed, aimed everything right on her. I got it, Tiki got it, Tracy got it, and these poor people in the restaurant 10 feet behind us, they were covered. It was a debacle. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see friends fight. I don't want to see my friend have stuff all over her. I don't want to see Tracy Barber crying because she's in the wrong part of the zoo. I just don't want to see any of it. <laughs>
after Teresa leaves the dinner, Margaret, you make it pretty clear that you want Dolores to stay with you. Yeah. Oh, I got. I go sit down. I go. You. I'm. You're one of my best friends in the world. Don't leave. <laughs> She's a disgusting beast. If you go home with her, that is disgusting. Yeah. Dolores, you're one of my best friends. We talk five times I a day on the phone. That. I did not want Dolores leaving. I was like, stay with me. My instinct is to defuse the person that's so angry. You know, in Copland, back when, what you do when there's a domestic violence, which my right now my two sisters are fighting, you separate them and you you calm them down. That's what you do. And that was my instinct was what to do, was to go and calm down the one that was the hardest to calm. She wanted to come yes. after me and then she didn't yeah. because Margaret she told didn't. her not to. I came with them, I'm going with no, them. No, you're not. You're not. Dolores, no. the this woman just threw a plate at me, you're sitting right here. I'm if you not, go with I'm them, not. I'm gonna be upset. Right there, loyalty was broken because why did she listen to Margaret? She sure Teresa, became... Teresa, Teresa, if you haven't realized by now that Dolores is a better friend to Margaret, you need to open your eyes. I know you've been friends with her longer, but her friendship with Margaret is stronger. Teresa and Dolores have known each other longer and they go way back, but Margaret and Dolores are closer friends than Teresa and Dolores are. Dolores and Margaret are such close friends that I think it feels very disloyal not that you need to pick a side but like in that moment Dolores was picking a side because Margaret was sitting there covered in food legitimately so upset I mean cameras no cameras Margaret was so upset and so uncomfortable and she needed to feel supported Frank you were the one who eventually convinces Dolores to stay at the dinner that, 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 exactly you want to know something and I was just trying to think but I'm getting old and I forget now all right but that's exactly i remember there was a reason dolores we're the host what we're the host right now oh you're right you're right we will go right. Home together. Right. all right thank you frank and, and quite honestly it, it was my, my my roundabout way to get dolores to stay so i could finish my meal <laughs> so things at dinner got a little out of control listen it was intense to say the least But you didn't let that stop you from enjoying your meal. Can we get our food? I stayed, not only did I finish my food, but I finished everybody else who got up and left and went home. All right? I made the best of it. All right? For once. For once, I'm going to be able to get to eat. All right? Anytime I get a chance to stay and finish my food, I'm staying. And I, I've learned to eat faster and faster. Okay? And I still can't, with this group, get a full meal in. When Frank told me to sit down, it was more for the food. Dolores, we're the host. What? We're the host right now. Oh, you're right, you're right. All right, thank you, Frank. <laughs> he was across from me, he was eating, and about 20 minutes later, he was, he was asleep. I have pictures of it. He was. <laughs> <laughs> he fell asleep. Like a bear, yeah, with, like a bear. Yeah, he ate, after Teresa he came in and like... started yelling at him, he was asleep. He was eating, he had nachos on like, the side of his mouth, and he was asleep. Yeah. The bill came. It was a couple thousand dollars. He ate about fifteen hundred dollars worth of food. <laughs> He's like <laughs> he a bear. It. It's not stop. Teresa, you decide to leave the house after your fight with Margaret. Were you kind of relieved that you could get away from all the tension? Yes, I was so happy. This is terrible. I don't see this ending well. Come on, babe. Let's go. I was like, babe, this is the, you don't know yet, but this is the best thing ever for us not to be there. Because we were in our own space. It was like, you know, we got to do what we wanted. Then you really were on a honeymoon. Yeah, it was just good. Like, you know, Mar maybe Margaret was like, aha, she got to leave. No, bitch. I was so happy I had to leave. I was so happy. And she took that your we got room. To I know. She got, she loves, she, like, I mean, she, she loves sloppy seconds, let me tell you. <laughs> I don't know. I just found it so funny that this room that she made such a big deal of getting. I promised Teresa and Louie, because they're the lovers, they could have the master. That's unfair. It's not unfair. It's Louie's first trip. Be nice to him. I am nice to him. We have to come in the hat like 
like the rest of us. Like once her bags were packed and she walked out the door, Margaret fully moved right on into the room with Joe and like took over. She was in the bath that night. Like it was just, to me, I thought it was kind of ironic and funny. And I thought that, you know, without her in the house, we were less worried about some big giant fight because if she had stayed there, it would have been a disaster. I changed the sheets and uh, moved into the master. I was sleeping in the kids' playroom. I mean, the house was beautiful. So don't get me wrong, the house was dying, but then Frank could move out of the hallway into a bedroom. I mean, it's frustrating. It's so frustrating. It's like, I know that this is, you know, this is the end of it now. Like the trip is ruined. Once this happens and everyone divides and we're no longer staying in the same house anymore and we're all not like, you know, it gets to this point where people want to leave and they want to go home and they don't want to stay together. I just know that we're screwed from here on out and that, you know, this might not go, the, the rest of the trip might not even happen. I don't like unresolved anger fights between my friends. Uh, I, I thought it was probably better for everybody when things are that hostile to be, again, you separate the two people that are fighting. You have to. I'm going to tell you there was peace in the house after that. There was, you know what, you don't, she's a little bit of a loose cannon. Well, there certainly wouldn't be any more fighting that night. You knew that it was over then. Yes. Well, listen, I didn't want her to leave the state. I was like, let her go stay somewhere else. Let her gather her thoughts. Happy people don't behave that way. So you arrive in Nashville and Teresa's already fired up. No, she did. Teresa arrived, fired up. No. <laughs> if this is your trip, you invited no. me. They don't intimidate me not one bit. Never seen her like that. And then she demands the nicest bedroom. Don't you think I should have the master? I think we should pick from this hat. I promised Teresa and Louie, because they're the lovers, they could have the master. That's unfair. It's not unfair. It's Louie's first trip. Be nice to him. I am nice to him. We have to come in the hat like the rest of us. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I figured, you know, me and Louie, we should get the best room. Yeah, we're in love, you know? If, like, I, th I thought so, too. Yeah, I just thought that. And then um, Dolores said we should, right? I think because it, it was her house. I agreed with it. I was like, listen, these, are, these two are in the newlywed phase. Let's yeah. have them have the, the master. I think who's ever been married the longest deserves the best bedroom. <laughs> they need the extra help, not the damn newlyweds. They should be able to sleep on a hardwood floor and like s get it on. Like what the hell? I'm just kidding, but I'm serious. I don't know why they get the best bedroom. All they do is go to hotels together all day anyway. But you know, while they were all looking at the best bedroom in the house, I snuck upstairs and chose the second best one. I'm upstairs, staking my claim, baby. This is fine, yeah, this will do. Put my Smart. Down. Got, got my husband a bathroom, you know? <laughs> That's why you went to that good college. That's right. <laughs> That's why I read so good. <laughs> there was a room there with two beds in it, all right? For me and Dolores, all right? And Dolores, you know, I, then I hear from the girls, I hear, you know, how is Dolores supposed to move on in a relationship? Next thing I know, I'm, I'm moving one of the beds out of the room and, and, and I'm, I'm setting up in the library, all right? It's an opening, all right? I guess you call it the library, the den, or whatever it was, you know, where everybody walks by to go to the bathroom, all right? At that point, I was like, wow, Dolores must have a new boyfriend who's got an issue with me. Ooh. I have to explain to Frank that moving forward and for future relationships, I would like people to get to know Frank and me better. And I would like people to understand our relationship before we're here and staying in the same room because we are really just really good friends. I hate to say it, it's almost like a brother and sister, you know? Who cares, you know, see you naked, don't see you naked, what's the big deal, you know, seriously. But um, maybe in the future that's not okay anymore. And you know, that was a very big deal for me to do that because it seemed like I didn't want to hurt Frank's feelings but now this is another stage of my life where that's not gonna be like, okay, moving forward. Teresa, we see you and your girls leave your old house for a new beginning with Louie. Very weird that this is not gonna be our home. It is, we've been here for a long time. I know. How did it feel to move? 
I was so ready to leave. <laughs> like, I'm ready for a new beginning, a fresh start. And then it's so oddly that I start crying. Like, I'm, like, getting so emotional. And I was getting Aww. emotional from my daughters. I, my daughters are being really strong. And they didn't, you know, they, they got a little emotional. But I feel like I was just more emotional for them. But uh, you know what? We're really all so happy in our new home. And I'm, you know, I feel really blessed and I'm grateful and I'm happy for the new chapters to, you know, that, that that has started. The family's really happy. We're all happy. And this move is big. It's big. It's like a, a new new life, you know, new home, big change. Uh, you know, I love it. I mean, people th say they're moving too fast. I mean, Joe, Joe Judice put a little message out there on social media that I heard that he says uh, he thinks they're moving too fast. But listen, I met my wife. Within three months, she moved in. Five months, we were engaged. Ten months, we were married. And look, we're going strong 17 and a half years later. So if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. So I think it's great, man. I think it's, uh, they need it. They need a, a, a nice new change. They need a man in their life to to look up to and respect. So I think it's, it's, it's beautiful. We're one big, happy Brady Bunch family. <laughs> I love that. Jen, six, ki that. six kids, four dogs. Oh That's my God. That's six gosh. kids. I know, you know, a lot going on. <laughs> so cute.